We love you, Dan. Love you, Mom. Good job, Dan. <laughs> yeah, what he said, um, I think he said it very well. I'm not going to add too much to that. Uh, I do want to thank everybody for planning this on a Wednesday because I got to work tomorrow at 6 in the morning. But hey, I'm still here anyway, so. Call <laughs> it. Nah, I've done that too many times before, so. I'll give you a wake up call. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously this is in celebration of Ken Brown, who is a phenomenal writer, a phenomenal person. Anybody knew him personally? I assume everybody here probably knew him some way. I mean, personally for me, I wouldn't be the writer that I am. I wouldn't be doing this, you know, up here like I am right now if it weren't for him. He really pushed me and, and got me out of my shell. I didn't like talking and reading in front of people. I still don't like talking and reading in front of people, but I don't know. But uh, thanks to Ken, you know, I owe a lot to him and I miss talking to him. Um, and it's really cool to, uh, you know, put this thing on for him in his honor and kind of as a one last send off to wherever he's gone. There are some broadsides uh, over there printed up by Firecracker Press. You guys feel free to take one. It's like a little memento of the event. A little quote of one of his poems here at the end. Um, we're going to be hearing from some great readers tonight. Uh, probably in this order. Phil Gunis and Matt Freeman, the Dogtown poet. Stephanie Russell. Dave, you're all right going next after that. Is that cool? All right. Uh, we have some music from Kara. And then me and Dan. And if you want to follow me, Dan. I tried once. <laughs> yeah, I and uh, finishing up, last but not least, Brett and Matthew Question Mark if he shows up on Roman Point or not. He, if he does, it'd be great. He's a great poet. But he's a question mark. He's a question mark. He is a question mark on the list. So uh, I don't have anything else to say. So Phil, come on up here, man.